This video shows you how to tell if individual questions on a quiz have been graded by your instructor. I want to refer you to another video that I've made about using the class progress link, which is the preferred way for students to access quizzes. However, here in our class, I'm not really a student. I just have like a student preview, so I can't show you how to do that in this video. However, what I can show you to do is to start from the course homepage and then click on the content button from the navigation bar. If you search the topic endocrine graded quiz, if you search the topic graded quiz, it will pull up all of the graded quizzes. So don't forget about the search topic. Uh, this here, this is the quiz that I'm interested in. And what I can do is click on this quiz, and it brings me to a summary page that has absolutely no useful information on it. But what I can do is click here on this downward facing chevron, and it gives me an option of view submissions. And that's what I'm going to do. If there were multiple submissions, I would see multiple attempts down here. I could see the grade for each attempt that it's out of 70 points, and oh, look at this, I got two. So if I click on attempt, it actually brings me to the quiz itself. And what you can see up here is it gives you the attempt score and your overall grade, which are two different things. The overall grade goes to the grade book. The attempt score is just solely about this quiz and nothing else, not your grade but just the attempt. I know it's the terminology. If I had written you any general feedback, it would be up here like, great quiz, but you don't like true-false questions, review how to do those. You can also scroll down and see that you received how many points on each question. Then you get to some questions that are either written responses or something that the instructor has to grade. And this has been changed since the last time I made a video like this. Much to my chagrin, I just feel like I'm repeating things over and over with Brightspace. They change it, I have to change Anyway, so you can see here with question three that it has been graded, right? And it says, here's the text of my answer, um, and it shows me the grade or the points that I would have had. Down here on question four, this one has not been graded. So it doesn't tell you that it's been automatically graded by Brightspace, which is what Brightspace did by adding a zero. But what it tells you is that your instructor has not revisited this question and has not assigned a grade. Not that the instructor gave you a zero. The instructor hasn't even looked at it. So seeing something like this, where you know that one of your questions has been graded, but another one hasn't, that should be a prompt for you to email your instructor uh, because they may not realize that, especially with the way that things are set up in Brightspace. Now, as you go on, you notice that other questions don't seem to have this little note down here in blue, and that's because these are all automatically graded questions. In the past, Brightspace would say that. It would say auto-graded by Brightspace for each one of these questions. But now I think it just kind of assumes that. If you close out of this, it brings you back to that summary page. And the last thing that you can do is kind of compare your performance uh, to other students and the class average. So you can kind of see where you stand. And there are some quizzes where Everybody does kind of poorly, and that's because it's, it's tough material. Uh, but in that way, you can say to yourself by looking at the average, okay, is my performance on this quiz abnormal, um, or is everybody acing this and I'm doing poorly, or the opposite, is everybody failing it and I'm doing great. 